Hello, my brothers and sisters. How are you doing today? God bless you. My name is Joy. The joy of the Lord is my strength. God bless you. Thanks for viewing. Today, by God's grace, we are going to look at is like wearing rags before God. What's like wearing rags before God? Women's pants. Is there anything like women's pants or men's dresses? Like before I gave my life to Christ, I used to be a lesbian. I didn't like to be a woman. I, I didn't really, I was just fighting with God. That, Why do you quit me as a woman? I wanted to be like a man. So I was a tomboy. I was a lesbian. So I was wearing trousers, wearing pants, all kind of, you know, pants. But priest to the name of the Lord, when I received Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior, I, I became born again. But then, you see, evangelical churches, so many women are wearing pants, so I felt it's okay, I can wear pants. And God was sending his children to me, stop wearing it. So I, I, I would tell them, it doesn't matter. I'm a child of God. It's my heart that matters. So I was still wearing pants. But to God's be the glory one day, God told me, fold your pants and give them to your cousins, my male cousins. And I was like, what? And God told me, you have a choice. <gasps> I was like, no, I love you, Lord. I don't have a choice. You know the best. You have the perfect will you know the best for me and if you don't want me to wear them i'm not going to wear them um i don't have a choice your choice is the best for me so i obeyed god and i took them away and gave them to my male cousins so as i began to study the scripture the lord began to tell me that wearing uh, paint is not his will you can see that from deuteronomy 20 22 verse 5 a woman shall not wear any that pertains to a man nor shall a man put on a woman's garment for all who do so are an abomination to the lord your god and i thank god for rebuking me because the bible says those that he loves he rebukes and i obeyed god so my sisters out there please it's a deception. There's nothing like women's pants or men's dresses. Today we see men's dresses. Some gay people, the, the uh, men, they wear uh, dresses, and that is abomination. This is it is gender rebellious against God's ordained will and um, confusion. It's causing confusion, and I pray that the Lord will open our eyes to this truth. The devil has made pants for women fashionable, so we don't see anything wrong in it. Many Christians don't see anything wrong with it, but there is so, it is abomination before God, and I pray, Lord, we obey God's word. It is a lie. There's nothing like women's pants or trousers. Now, why do I have to stop wearing uh, pants or trousers. God says so. It is the word of God. And if you love God, you want to obey him. God says it is abomination. It is abominations. And in Revelation 21, 8, the Bible says all the abominables, they are going to end up in the lake of fire. So we want to repent and pray that God will not send us into hell because of uh, pants or trousers. And also, it is a a rebellion against God. It is the devil's deception of women. Just like the devil deceived uh, women in the garden of uh, Eve in the garden of Eden, he's still deceiving women because we are so emotional. We just like vanities. We like, you know, uh, things that are so attractive and our, our emotions get into, into, into the way. And so we want to just love petty, petty things. The devil is the devil's deception. Please, you need to repent. 
and it is originated. How did it ori originate? It originated in the 50s and 60s when the feminist rebellious movement, remember feminism? That was when feminism um, started. Women that wanted to be like men. They are more of les lesbianism, even though some of them are denying that they are not lesbian. That was when pants wearing or trousers wearing for women started. Feminism era. You can Google and find out about feminism era. You know, it's it, the women wanted to be like men. You know, they rejected all the male authority or the institution um, uh, over of men, men's authority over women, and so they began to rebel against you know, men authority, and they wanted to be like men themselves. So they started wearing men's paint and they call it women's paint you see so we need to be careful and also now in this our age we see men wearing dresses wearing skirts wearing women's attire you condemn them we call them gay we call them all kind of man uh, all kind of names and yes we are also doing the same we women are doing the same. You see, we condemn men, gay men that wear dresses, that wear skirts, and then we women, we are doing the same thing. We shouldn't do that. We shouldn't be part of, of, of sin or darkness. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Will you encourage your son, your husband, or your brother or boyfriend, your dad, to wear dresses, to, to wear skirts, calling them men's dresses, men's skirts, you won't. So why are you believing the lie of the devil? Women's paint, there's nothing like women's paint. It's the deception from the pit of hell, you know, to just, to deceive men and um, draw them, drag them into hell. That's the devil's lies. Please, we need to repent. There's nothing like that. So if you are not going to encourage your brothers, your son, your husband, your dad to wear men's dresses and skirts, why are you as a woman of God, a, a daughter of God, wearing women's pants or trousers? It is not women's pants. There's nothing like that. It is for men. Please, we need to beware. It is a lie, a deception from the pit of hell. Let us repent. Let us discard it. Let us ask God for the grace to be able to obey God and do his will in this hand time. My brothers and sisters, be blessed. God bless you.